Welcome to our Lignum Tutorials. In this presentation, we will show you how to download, install, and use all the menus Joomla component along with all the menus Pro. In order to download the all the menus Joomla component, you can either download from our website or from Joomla Extensions website by searching for all the menus. You can find both links in the description section below. Switch to your Joomla administration page and click on Extensions, Extension Manager. Click on Choose File. A dialog box will appear. Select the old menu Joomla 3 menu component.zip that you previously downloaded and click on Open. You will receive the message installing component was successful as long as you successfully installed the old menu Joomla component. Now that you have successfully installed the Orgo Menus Joomla component, you can click on Components and Orgo Menus Pro. For the first time, you're going to see the following screen. Click on Move to Settings. This is the settings page you will see. As you can see, there are some settings and some buttons that I will further explain to you. First, you can place the menu name you want or you can leave the default. Note that if you want to create more of menus, menus on your Joomla site, you can click on the button Create Additional Menu so you can create a new menu. Then select the menu structure. Click on the Select box and select the Joomla menu you want. That means that the menu structure in Orbit Menus Pro will be populated by the items of the menu you chose. Then select the menu type. There are three available choices Dynamic Menu Type, Mixed Menu Type, and Static Menu Type. The dynamic menu type means that the menu items in Old Menus Pro will only be used for preview or styling purposes. In actual pages, the menu will be dynamically populated by the chosen menu. The styles will be applied by the Old Menus Pro. The mixed menu type means that the menu will be populated by the menu items you created in Old Menus Pro along with the dynamic menu items from the chosen Joomla menu. The styling properties will be applied by all of Menus Pro. The static menu type means that the menu will be populated by the menu items you created in all of Menus Pro only. Any change you might need to, it should be done in all of Menus Pro either for the menu structure or the styling properties. When you have finished with all the settings, click on Generate Menu and Upload, also Saves, Changes and Settings. The next page consists of two steps. In the first step, you can copy the generated menu structure code in order to import it in Orwood Menus Pro. In the second step, you can upload the compiled zip file produced by Orwood Menus Pro. So, select the generated menu structure code and copy that. Open Orwood Menus Pro and choose a theme to start from. For this presentation, we have chosen the Bootstrap menu theme. Go to Add-ins, Joomla menu, import or update menu structure from Joomla in order to import the menu structure you previously copied. Paste the generated menu structure code and click on Next. Then click on Import menu structure and replace existing. As you can see, the menu structure is updated with the menu structure we selected on Joomla administration page. Save your menu project. Click on File, Save As, give a name to your project, select a folder where you want to save it and click Save. When you have finished editing the menu, you can compile it. Go to Add-ins, Joomla menu, compile Joomla menu for Domain Unlimited. On the window that appears, click on Continue with Compile. Select the site root folder by clicking on Edit and then click OK. When Compile is finished, you receive the menu compiled successfully message. Switch back to Joomla Administration in all menus component settings. Click on Choose File. When you compile the menu project, a zip file was produced. Choose that zip file and click on Open. You will receive the following message if you successfully uploaded the zip file. 
See your Joomla website, the menu is where you placed it. For this presentation we had set the menu position relative to window and top left corner. That is why the menu appears on the top left corner of the window. We will show you how to change the position of your menu on upcoming presentations. For more information you can visit www.lickno.com Thank you for watching.